Geraldine! Her journey began right here. Since taking her Pop Factor crown, she has become a global superstar. This is the incredible story of Geraldine McQueen. The most votes for any finalist ever. 52.4.6 million. The biggest selling debut single in music history. Number one in 76 countries. Sold more singles than the Beatles in Kenya. Since you crowned Geraldine your winner, she has become an international superstar. And it now seems that everybody wants a big helping of the dinner lady turned diva. Oh, I've not stopped. I've hardly had time to catch my breath, which is a worry because I'm asthmatic. It's been an amazing few months. I've been whisked here and whisked there, here, there and everywhere. I've done more photo shoots than Max Bielman. I've had me in every position imaginable. Nothing candid. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I met Barack Obama. Barack Obama, can you believe it? He's truly an amazing man. Got to sing the winner's song with him. That was incredible. But one of the highlights for me was going on Hole in the Wall. Though my team lost, I had Mr. T and Stephen Hawking. No holes fit him. I also got to appear with one of my favorite bands of all time, Take That. I was a special guest in their show. Please welcome Geraldine. That was amazing. They were lovely, lovely men. Gary, Howard, Jason and Mark. I met them all. I can't believe it. Look at me stood here with Take That. I can't believe it. And then I had to do a little bit of a quiz. Which member of Take That would like to ride me like a donkey? <laughs> now, come on. You're not made of wood. You could probably have us all, Geraldine. All of you. Don't form a queue. I was getting down off the boxes, and then Mark grabbed me and pulled me on top of him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's he like? on top of him in the studio, straddling him, and he crushed him to death. Oh, Unbelievable. What do you think I am, a machine? And can you believe I got a call from the lovely Stella McCartney asking if I could turn on her Christmas lights at a shop in Mayfair? Come on, we come on, We had to pay so yeah. much for oh, this appearance. Oh, yeah. That was a very glamorous night. Stella's such a lovely person. But well, sadly, none of her clothes fit me. Everybody was there, I got to meet Lulu. That was ironic because I ordered my very first Cross Your Heart bra when she was doing the Freeman's catalogues. That was over 30 years ago. She still looks the same. I don't know how she does it. He has a powerful weapon. He charges a million of shots. And I had to go outside and flick the big switch. You should have seen the paparazzi. Unbelievable. I felt like Diana. Good job I don't have epilepsy. <laughs> we sang a few Christmas songs, and then who would you believe showed up? Sir Paul McCartney. I'm sure that man's stalking me. It was amazing. We sang together. We're simply having a wonderful Christmas time. See, I knew we'd see each other again. Special connection. But I think the highlight of everything I've done so far has been appearing on the Royal Variety performance in front of Prince Charles. I get emotional just thinking about it now. To think I used to sit at home when I was a little boy me and my mummy and daddy, and dream about being on it one day. And there I was, on stage. Hello. <laughs> well, who'd have thought it? Little old me on the Royal Variety performance. <laughs> now I'm about to perform in front of His Royal Highness. You'll get your crown eventually. I got mine. I met Prince Charles after. I told him I had him at home in a tea town. And would you believe, he's got one of me. Said him and Camilla used to vote for me every week. I'd like to take this opportunity while I'm here to say thanks. Thanks to each and every one of the people who voted for me. My journey so far has been incredible. And it's all because I had a dream. Just like Dr. Martin Luther King, I had a dream. And you've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how else are you going to have a dream come true? 